and Happy New Year. Um, I'm continuing with my exploration of streaming data over the internet. And so last year, uh, I learned that uh, Japan had released the point cloud data set for Tokyo. So uh, towards the end of the year, I spent a lot of time working on compressing it and uh, like processing it into something that I could stream in and load. Uh, this is only Shinjuku of Tokyo. So there actually looks like hundred or different words. So like, um, it's like the, the actual map of Tokyo would be like a hundred times larger, but it's already getting kind of exciting and you can like, uh, and Right now, the cool thing about this is it's all streaming in from online. You see this is a page online, and all of these data are coming from GTA 7 Okio. Um, and you can see that I configured my Cloudflare cache uh, rules correctly as the cache status is uh, on hit. And so yeah, I'll reload the page so you can see how fast everything loads. This is always uh, streaming from the internet. And I'm getting very close to the, um, as, as long as you're on the same um, region, uh, it is loading the very base uh, LOD, which is the full points um, density from the actual data set. And then I compress the data with like uh, this thing called Draco. And the color thing was a bit interesting. Uh, once you add in a color channel into the Draco pipeline, the compression gets a lot worse. So I separated out the color and did my own compression of it. Uh, Draco does reorder the vertices when it does its compression. So um, I had to do a simple match to get things uh, synced back up with my custom color data. Uh, I used this thing called image quant to create uh, 256 color palette for each of these sections. And it's a full 3D map and you can even like see little cars. It's kind of been having a lot of fun just like kind of flying around in it. And it's a, with a little bit of anxiety that I released this. Hopefully I'm not doing anything stupid with the, uh, with the way I'm serving the data and, uh, We'll see. We'll see. Um, we'll see if I have to take this down or something like that. But yeah, it's all the data is uh, hosted on Cloudflare R2, and I configured some aggressive caching rules um, so that actually it can like kind of serve from the edge servers eventually as well for extremely low latency. I think it's an exciting time for me, you know, like getting into this. Uh, cloud and um and the edge servers kind of thing serverless like a few years ago it sucked a lot you know there was like this thing called the cold start where um the first time you were calling a like route on some kind of api it would like take like 10 seconds to like start up but uh cloudflare has really changed that with their edge servers like it's pretty much like it's pretty amazing like what cloudflare can do and also like their edge location servers, like, yeah, I think it, and yeah, this data set is like huge. Like I, I'm going to have to delete my Shinjuku files once I'm like kind of, um, and I'm gonna have to just, uh, I'm gonna have to process it word by word because of how large the data files are. But uh, the fact that like I can just uh, host it on like Cloudflare, that's really uh, cool. Um, yeah, and, you know, maybe, uh, this will open up the, the, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that was, you know, I do have an Intel processor, so, not actually, I don't know, that. but yeah, I, I'm excited to see how this goes, um, I'm, very excited with all this like Cloudflare tech. Um, yeah, like this is stuff that like I can't like really expect anybody to be. 
Like if I wanted every single ward in Tokyo, like this is just Shinjuku. If I wanted every single ward, it'd be like, it'd be one of those 100 gig, but well, it'd be like a terabyte game. Um, but yeah, this is also like a really, really beautiful data set from Tokyo, by the way, like they have these trees, they have color on all the points. It's a, it's a beautiful data set. Like I really like going to the trees and like you can see the dirt ground and they even have like shadows. And yeah. Man, it's really cool that like Cloudflare like is so generous on like the outgoing bandwidth. Like all a lot of their stuff have like zero egress charges. So so yeah, this is what's possible with a static world. I will also I have some plans to maybe like voxelize it and make it a persisted um, multiplayer editable thing, kind of like with the other voxel stuff. And yeah, maybe maybe I can run some liquid simulations on here too. Yeah, exciting times. A little track field. Pew, pew, pew. 